never, like, I never ever thought that this trend would actually come back, like, and that I would actually be low-key digging it, too. <laughs> day is going well today's video like the title says is all about fall and winter fashion trends so I asked you guys if you wanted to see this video and I got a resounding yes which is awesome because you know I love talking shop my name is Chi Chi if you're new here and we cover fashion beauty and a lifestyle that sounds like the kind of stuff you're into then uh, you're in the right place all right Drum roll, let's get into this video. The first fashion trend that I wanna to talk to you guys about is gonna be the skirt suit trend. Now the skirt suit trend is basically an iteration of the menswear trend that we see almost every fall and winter. Once the temps start to dip, designers love to kind of like go towards more tailored silhouettes. And this season is no different. The only thing is that in the last couple of seasons, what we were seeing was more of like a borrowed from the boys, more of like a, a pantsuit. But this season, the girls are coming out to play, okay? And we are um, seeing a lot of skirt suits. Now, I personally do not own a single skirt suit. And if you're in the same shoe as I, because honestly, when I think of the skirt suits, I think of my mama. <laughs> Anyways, you can totally DIY this trend. Wearing head to toe mustard definitely takes some cojones. So <laughs> um, I like this way of doing it because you get like the more matte um, shades from the blazer and then the shiny and silkier shades from the skirt. Drop a comment, would you wear a head to toe mustard look. Now, for every day, if I'm being honest, my style is more like this. So here's another DIY sort of like suit. That This is the blazer for my Nordstrom haul, the one that I had to size up on. And I'm so glad, I love you guys. I'm, I don't know, I can't remember who it was that gave me the idea to hold on to it and see if it came back in stock, but it did in my size and I'm so grateful. So. Easy, breezy, very wearable. The only thing I would add is some tights, but I was being lazy, y'all. So the next trend I wanna to talk to you guys about is going to be the knit trend. And I'm sure you're like, girl, it's fall and winter, we all wear sweaters. Yes, yes, we do. You know, it gets cold, we wanna be cozy. Sweaters are bay. However, I think this year it's kind of like sweaters and cozy on steroids, head to toe knit. So you have like um, short two piece sweater sets, chunky cardigan, um, chunky sweater bralettes, just a lot of pieces that don't typically get made in knits this season are getting made in knits. The assortment in the plus section has been a little bit on the thin side. However, I did find the cutest um, short sweater set and mango. If you don't know what mango is, mango is basically like Zara. So it's like one of the big three, H&M, Mango, Zara. Um, and the good thing about mango is that they do have an extended size range. So if you want that sort of like Zara aesthetic, you can get it at mango. I actually just bought two items from them because they were doing a 30% off sale. I will link down below. Now, looking in my wardrobe, I was just perusing and I remember that I picked up this sweater set. I am absolutely in love with this sweater set, especially for the price point. I think I got both things for under like 25. So I will link it for you down below. Now it's actually from Wally World. If you haven't seen my Walmart haul, you should check it out. Pricing on Walmart like fluctuates all the time, but I will definitely link these for you. It came in this color, black, and a couple of other striped com combinations as well. Now this next trend is for my girls who love their sparkle. Okay, if you like to sparkle, if you like to make a statement, if you like to zazzle, I don't even know if that's a word, I'm making that up, dazzle is the word I was trying to go for, um, then you will love this next trend. It is the sequin and metallic trend. Let me tell you right now, 
if you are planning to show out this holiday season, you need to be shopping right now. This dress, you guys, fell in love with last fall and winter. I actually picked it up during the summer, okay? And by the time I shared it on my, on my Instagram, it was almost sold out. And it pretty much sold out as soon as I shared it. So I checked and they brought it back again this season. It sold out last year. I'm almost certain it will sell out this year because it's one of those things that you can actually buy and keep in your closet. Like there will be an occasion for you to wear a sequin dress. It doesn't really go out of style. There's birthdays, there's New Year's. There's always a reason to come in and show out, okay? So I'm gonna link the dress down below. Don't sleep on it. I'm just, I'm just giving you the tea right now. Don't sleep on it. I feel like the metallic is kind of like the more subtle sister of the sequin. You know, the sequin is more like, yes, I'm a disco ball. Notice me. No, I must be the center of attraction. Metallics are a little bit, a little bit more subtle and I love metallics. So I'm sure you're thinking like the only time you can wear metallics and sequin is around the festive season. You can actually wear metallics all the time. And this outfit right here is a perfect example of how I personally would do a metallic every day. So I have on this metallic blazer. And what I really like about this blazer is that it is, um, it has both gold and silver thread running through it, which makes it super interesting. Now to kind of tone it down, I paired it with a graphic tee, which is one of my favorite things when I want to add a little grunge and a little edge to an outfit. And then of course, my favorite pair of jeans. You guys always ask me questions about these jeans. They're completely sold out in this wash. But last I checked, they still had other washes available. And here you have a look that you can wear drinks with friends. You know, when you think of metallics and sequins, it doesn't always have to be over the top. It can be subtle and wearable for day. Here I have this um, silver top and I would pair it with this gold metallic -y skirt. Now to make that monochrome look pop, go for a pop of color. So a bright colored bag, especially in a jewel tone. Whatever you choose to do, that combination is so sweet and will be perfect for the festive slash holiday slash Christmas season ahead. Now, if you've been under a rock, you may not know the next trend. I talked about it in my last video, is the statement shoulder and sleeve trend. I never, like, I never ever thought that this trend would actually come back, like, and that I would actually be low-key digging it, too. I was talking about this in the Zara haul, like, who would have thunk it? I used to thrift a lot. I would purposely go in through all of my thrifted blazers and tops and remove the shoulder pads. Well, guess what? Shoulder pads are back. Let's just blame Isabel Moran, in my opinion, for the resurgence of this trend. You may have dabbled in the muscle tees with the exaggerated shoulders. I did not. You know, trends are great, but you should always take them just as a guide, just as a footnote. I only really try trends that I feel work for my shape and that I feel that are actually wearable. So, shoulders are here to stay. I didn't do the muscle shirts, but I am doing the shoulder, the exaggerated shoulder sweatshirts. I love it. But the statement sleeve is still going strong. You guys know how I feel about a puffy sleeve. You know how I feel. The bigger the sleeves, the better, okay? The puffier, the bigger, the grander. I am here for it. Definitely keep your eye out for sweaters and knits with those puffy sleeves with the exaggerated sleeves. They get extra points for making your arms look very skinty, okay? Because the bigger sleeve automatically makes your arms look a lot smaller. All right, so the next trend I think is probably one of the biggest trends. I would say one of the more like pervasive trends. No matter what your aesthetic is, you will find something within this class of trend um, that you will love. And that is the 70s trend. I feel like the 70s trend comes in every so often, but I feel like this season, it's like 70s on steroids. I saw it in the use of colored leather. 
in leather pieces in unexpected ways from bralette tops to trench coats to skirts just leather and everything with the exaggerated colors also the use of the color brown that was lot of different tones of brown from more cinnamon brown to more cognac browns to more chocolate browns to more you know camels lighter nudes etc etc and like if your style is a little bit more sleek then totally do like a leather trench like this one this this trench that i picked up during the nordstrom anniversary sale it has the exaggerated lapel it is a colored leather in this like shiny fabric and then you could also do it in subtle ways like in your choice of footwear or in your choice of accessories like maybe an aviator a tinted aviator but you can you know infuse these trends into your wardrobe in subtle ways for example this leather skirt that i picked up in the spring it sold out as soon as i shared it with you guys but guess what thanks to Rhonda here on youtube i found out on ig that the skirt is back again this season here is the skirt here as you can see it's the perfect shade of just this camel and it is back again this season in three colors so i'm gonna link it for you guys so if you want to see how i incorporate these trends as we go into the season for more examples and more style ideas make sure you're following me on instagram because when i'm not on youtube that is where you can find me okay if you have any questions about any of the trends that i shared drop a comment if you want me to do a dedicated video and maybe a specific trend drop a comment as well and if you have any pressing questions like if you really need an answer right now best place to find me is instagram you can just slide in my dms and i will be happy to answer if you enjoyed this video and you don't want to miss my h m haul that's coming asap or you're looking to develop elevate or update your style all you have to do is subscribe now we would absolutely love for you to join the family before you go before you go for more fall styling videos check out this one and i'm sure you'll love this one don't forget to rate comment subscribe and share and until next time stay blessed